So I found guy brows uh, are really, really popular because now guys are, they're preening a little bit more than our grandfathers and fathers used to. So some great tips are to not go too far apart in the middle. So I'd say if you kind of put your little finger in the middle, whatever's under it, you can safely remove and then you can look at their face shape to see if you want to take it any further out. And then also when I'm uh, waxing underneath or threading, I kind of take it in pretty much a straight line going outwards. And this gives a really natural look. So you're just getting any stray hairs that are below the brow line to create something that looks groomed, but it doesn't look overdone. I think for the, the, the trimming as well to kind of keep things looking nice and natural, you can get away when you're doing female brows of kind of trimming the hair quite short, but I think with, with chaps, giving them a little bit of extra length and chipping into the brow rather than going straight across. Mm -hmm. So one, I, I work in a barber shop and seeing them cut hair, they kind of lift the hair up and they chip in with the scissors like that. So I started doing that on the, the men's brows in this area in particular. So you can brush the hair up with your thumb or a mascara wand and chip in with the scissors just to take mm -hmm. some of that bulk out and mm -hmm. the length out but it still keeps it looking relatively masculine and, and natural. Yeah. And I think with guys as well, um, it's always good to try and meet their expectations because sometimes you get some guys who like such a clean finish to their eyebrows and then you want some guy, then there's some guys that like it to be left a little bit rough and ready. Mm. So leaving just a few hairs here and there um, just makes it a little bit more natural.